It's week number two for Jane T. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our six week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in the next six weeks. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jodie. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, actually. Um, yep, yeah, lost more weight this week. So uh, what are the scales saying? Well, two, if not three. My, we, I live in a very old house and we haven't got many floors that are particularly flat. So I've okay. um, <laughs> got a lot of stone floors. So, um, but, uh, so it depends. I have to sort of move it around the house and see what I can get. So it was definitely two, but maybe three. So I'm going with the two. because Yeah, let's go with two. And then if we need that extra pound, we can use that up later on in the Probably, course. So. Yeah. <laughs> because for now, two every week is perfect, just where we need to be. So that's good. I feel it's a good thing because it's, I don't want to lose too much. And then, you, you know, you go, oh, I've lost it all. And then relax. And yeah. Just all the back on again. So I'm trying to do it more as a, a change in what we're eating. Yeah, gradual is what we want. So how's this week been compared to last week? It's been all right. Some days it's sort of, I forget to, to put on. I mean, I have to admit today I've forgotten to put anything on at all. So I have to do it in the evening. Yeah. Um, but just thinking that I know I've got to put it on. So... Do I, you know, you get in and you're hungry and I'll go, oh, I want something to eat. But it's made me think more. So I've put the kettle on and perhaps made a cup of tea or um, had a drink of water. Whereas you'd perhaps just run and have a skinny whip or something, but not really realise you've eaten it. Yeah. Um, so although I find putting, because I make most of my own food, it's, you can't always zap everything. You know, if you can zap the barcodes and things it is easier but i think yes it's it's definitely making me think more i think i'm eating more mindfully perfect which again is actually more beneficial than losing weight just being more mindful with food is a great long-term habit yeah yeah i think i'm of the generation when you had your dinner and then you had a pudding and i find it very difficult to when I finish my dinner not to have something sweet afterwards because there was always you know apple crumble or yeah any of those sorts of older puddings you know and now I don't feel like I've finished until I've had something sweet so just getting up from the table and walking away then is um it's sort of quite a big thing because I'm sort of going where's my pudding you know <laughs> But this is where kind of yogurts and fruit, you know, yeah. if you really, especially are the family still having, is your husband still having a dessert? Well, he does, but I mean, he's just been diagnosed as diabetic, so he oh, well. <laughs> well, it's definitely better for you both then if you don't have it. <laughs> However, you know, if 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 both of you want to have a yogurt, for instance, then with some fresh fruit, then I would definitely recommend that just to to almost ease you out of that habit. I mean, I love jelly. I love lime jelly with pears in and you can get sugar free um, lime jelly. So I bought some because I thought I'm going to make sort of four up and put them in in the fridge. So I've got them four little dishes. Lime um, jelly with pear. Love it. I've never heard of this combination before. <laughs> <laughs> there you go you can have that <laughs> Love lime oh. jelly, isn't it? but yeah i could imagine it's because obviously pears are quite sweet and then you've got that kick from the lime so i should imagine they complement each other quite well yes yeah so i thought if i make a packet up and put it into four little dishes and then sit and eat it i think it's also because we've had you know, we had three children and now we've got grandchildren and everything. I tend to eat very quickly. I know I do. Yeah. And I think that stems back from, you know, you put everybody else's out and they were nearly finishing. So you just eat up because you've got to get on to the next thing. And I'm trying to eat a bit slower. Excellent. Which, again, is not only good for mindfulness, but also good for your digestion. You know, being yeah. able to take time is a great thing for your digestion. It will help it process everything. Yeah, yeah. 
Right, let's have a little look through your food diary. Um, so yesterday uh, was Weetabix for breakfast, yeah. um, scrambled eggs on toast for lunch, and then in the evening you had uh, chilli, a minced beef chilli uh, yeah. with a little red wine and a millionaire's cheesecake and a little a special case cereal bar. Uh, yes, that was a, was that in my snacks? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so what I want you to do is just add a little bit more fruit and veg. So right. when you had the Weetabix in the morning, if you could put some fruit on there, whether it just be a couple of blueberries, uh, maybe even just one big strawberry or... Um, and then for lunchtime, when you're having the scrambled eggs, if you can have some mushrooms on the side or a tomato. Um, often when I'm having lunch, if I've got something like spinach in or something like that, I'd have just a couple of leaves on the side. A, so it looks pretty. Um, but <laughs> secondly, uh, just so you are getting those vitamins and minerals in all through the day and you're literally drip feeding your body. Yeah. So that was the other thing that I wanted you to just add there. Um, yeah. Just to keep your digestive system again ticking over and making sure it is uh, balanced as you have everything. Does that sound doable? Yeah, I, I mean, I've got everything in for a fresh fruit salad and I was going to make one yesterday, but it just got very hectic. So what I will do is make a big bowl of fresh fruit salad and then just keep just melon, grapes, strawberries, blueberries. Perfect. Just keep having a bowl of that. Yeah, I, I realise that on the days when we have, say, chilli, uh, which you could have with rice or um, pasta, I mean, I, I put in, in the chilli, I put in, well, onion wouldn't count as one of your five a day, would it? It would. I think manufacturers class it as one as your five a day. If you know nutrients like we know nutrients, we probably wouldn't class it as one of our five a day. Mm -hmm. I put peppers in it and mushrooms. So oh, great! Were, you probably had, you probably had two or three portions then. Yes. Within the chili. Yeah, yeah. It, because I sort of got a bit scared of eating fruit. Not it scared, but you sort of go, well, it's got a lot of sugar in it, and you're going, oh, because I was eating a tremendous amount of black fruit throughout the day, and then yeah. I, I mean, I've cut out bananas at the moment because I thought they were quite high in calories. They are, yes. You're, you're much better going for British fruit. So if you think apples, pears and berries, these yeah. are the British fruit that are naturally low in calories um, right. and naturally low in sugar as well. Right, right. Yep, can do that. So what's melon like? I mean, I, just, I can only get a honeydew melon. Yeah, melon and grapes, they're OK, but on the GI and on the sugar scale, they are quite high. Right where pear, apple and the berries, their fibre to sugar ratio is much better. Right. So this okay. is why diabetics and so for your husband, uh, definitely apples, pears and berries. Those are the three for him. <laughs> I did offer him a banana once and he went, are you trying to kill me? And I said, no, but there's a red wine in your other hand. Mine not do you good. <laughs> definitely always the banana over the wine that's for sure <laughs> they accepted the wine but the banana was just going to kill him because <laughs> remember at least banana's got some fiber in the wine has definitely got not got any fiber in from them crunch grapes does it it doesn't make you happier <laughs> oh dear right let's have a little look at some other days so monday weetabix again uh, a bit boring breakfast. It's okay. Right. For lunch on the, the Monday, you had the cream cheese sandwich with cucumber. So again, yeah. thumbs up there. Lasagna on the Monday evening and you had an apple there. Oh, and some nuts as well. Fabulous. So more protein. Um, and then a little dairy milk uh, chocolate bar. But again, you stayed within your calories, which is perfect. Uh, Sunday was Weetabix for breakfast. For lunch was bacon, sausage and mushroom, which was great. So no bread there as well. No, no. How did you feel eating that meal? That was fine. Um, I mean, normally we do a sort of a proper cooked meal, but 
but plans went a bit awry on things. So we ended up we gardened. So it was just something quick. But yeah, actually I liked it. I mean, we've got our own chickens, so we've got our own eggs. So uh I did I didn't put a fried egg down there, did I? No. Oh, so there was an egg there. Great. There was an egg there, I remember. Yes. So our eggs okay. Yes, yeah, so I was going to talk about that now. Eggs are actually amazing because they've got the protein in, they've got the omega-3 fatty acids in, and because you've got your own chickens, the omega-3 will be through the roof. That will be great. Um, all you need to do with eggs is make sure you have one day a week where you have no eggs. Right. So on six days of the week, have as many eggs as you like, but then just have one day where you don't have any eggs. Right. Okay. And that basically just gives your body um, a little bit of a cycle, helps all your internal organs uh, not get too used to them um, and not cause any issues. So as long as you've got that little break, then you, you're you fine with eggs. They're a good, cheap source of protein. Yes, yes. How many do your chickens lay a, a day or a week? Um, well, we're down a little bit on numbers, but we're hatching some more out. I've got a machine next to me. I've got a brooder next to me that's oh, uh, yeah. cooking some. Um, so we get about three, but then we've got ducks as well. So we get about five duck eggs a day as well. Oh, so fabulous. We've got plenty of eggs. <laughs> Great. Do the grandkids like eggs? They do. Yeah, Even we've better. actually got we've got geese and we've got goose eggs as well, but they're huge. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll bring I, you one tomorrow. I'll bring you one. Yeah. On Please do. I'd love to see that. <laughs> right. Uh, dinner on Sunday was a cheese sandwich with some red wine salad and a crunchy ice cream lolly was it worth 247 calories yeah. it was <laughs> <laughs> no that's fine but you balanced it out by also on the same day having a skinny whip bar <laughs> okay. i like this i like this combination jane uh, I love keeping insulin with my calories. I'm just not sure whether they're good calories. Yeah, no, don't <laughs> worry. A calorie is a calorie at this stage. Um, Saturday morning. That day. <laughs> Saturday morning, you had Weetabix for breakfast, and yeah. for lunch was a ham sandwich with cucumber. Friday. Oh, my computer's being a little bit slow. All right. Let me just refresh that. <laughs> Here we go. Right. Friday, Weetabix for breakfast, uh, skinny whip bar for lunch with a cream cheese uh, sandwich. Um, in the evening, you had quiche. Was that a homemade one? It was, yes. Have you made a chrysalis quiche, which is in English called a frittata? Yeah, uh, yes, I have. Um, but this this one, well, I said quiche, it was um, feta cheese and spinach. Lovely. And I put peppers and mushrooms and things in there. So. And you uh, had it with potato salad and uh, and some salad as well, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, going forward, just try to get rid of the um, lovely, the best bit of the quiche, which is the crust. So if you can have the, the key, I think, to having a frittata is to get something quite strongly flavoured in it so you don't miss the pastry. So, for instance, having something like um, salmon and broccoli in a frittata or a goat's cheese one, something quite flavoursome, and then it will hopefully stop you missing the crust. So if you were having any of the cheeses like feta or, or goat's cheese, would you go for the goat's cheese rather than the feta? Just, I would personally go because it's a little bit stronger and it'll have more flavour. Right. But it's, it's really up to your personal preference to what cheese you prefer. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I um, was using some goat's cheese up at the time, so it was... Uh, but uh, sorry, feta cheese up, which we hadn't eaten. So, um, 
But I think in... are they all fairly high in calories? Um, they they are things like EDAM are naturally low in calories, but because it's got less fat in, it's also got less flavor in, and normally you need more of it. So I would actually go the other way and have a really strong high calorie cheese and have less of it. Right. It's better okay. for your budget and I think it tastes better as well. So that would be, I personally like strong cheeses. So that's my personal preference, but uh, right. just on the, the cheese note, um, I noticed that you had the low fat cheese for lunch on the sandwich. Yeah. Have we talked about low fat before? No. So like I just mentioned there, you're much better to have a full fat cheese, even when it comes to like things like cream cheese spread and have less of it than having a lot of low fat. Right. And purely because it's a naturally occurring fat. It's not something that they've added. It's not like they've poured loads of oil into that full fat cream cheese. It's actually a naturally occurring fat, which our body's able to process very well. Um, so try not to uh, spend money on low fat products. Go for the full fat one, but just have a little bit less of it. Right. So as yogurts, would you go for, for low fat yogurts or just ordinary yogurt? No. It, it counts for everything, actually. So just trying to avoid low fat in general is the best thing to do, which I know sounds strange. It literally goes against every dieting rule you've ever been told uh, since the 80s when the diet revolution began. But actually just eating, you know, you heard the saying about the great grandmother diet, things like that. Going back to the most natural products can be, um, it's more fulfilling for your body. And again, those little bits of extra fat will keep you to content and stop you from uh, hopefully going for the sugar as well. Right, right. Uh, let's have a look at Thursday. So Weetabix for breakfast. Uh, you haven't got a cow, have you, with the chickens? Uh, <laughs> Has anyone, in the the village... field, but they're not ours. <laughs> Does anyone in the village sell cow, uh, raw cow milk, by the way, or not? No, we get ours from Altmanton Dairy, um, but it's not it's not raw. No, I've emailed them before about it. The only one that I know is between Ashbourne and Buxton. Um, I can't, is it Teg Lane? Have you been to there's that one? one uh, there's one near called cabby i think oh yes there is yeah there is one there are you a fan of raw milk or not i've never tried it oh haven't you oh great you should try it <laughs> it's nice because you get that lovely creamy top bit as well lovely on your weetabix first thing in the morning <laughs> it'll have you running down the stairs for breakfast That'd be amazing. <laughs> and again, on a just you know, on a serious note for your husband as well, to put him on whole milk, especially raw milk, again, will really help with his diabetes because there's actually less carbohydrates in 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 blue top milk, raw milk, um, whereas skimmed milk, which has got a lot less calories, has got more carbohydrates in. So this is where adding more fat to somebody who's got diabetes will actually help their blood sugar levels because it will keep their blood sugar or their blood glucose stable. Whereas high carbohydrate foods and drinks will have them spiking up and down. Somebody told him that. And so I have bought him some full cream milk, but I couldn't work it out. I'm, yeah, because I, I buy sk uh, skim milk. So thinking that I'm doing good. But... Yes, if you both have blue, it will help you with your weight loss and it will help him with his diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> and you both enjoy your breakfast more and more, more. I tell you. It will be tasty. <laughs> right, Thursday, Weetabix for breakfast, uh, tuna, cucumber and mayo sandwich and a shortbread biscuit. For the evening meal, it was a garlic flatbread with spaghetti bolognese uh, and a homemade lemon drizzle cake. Was that homemade by you? Uh, I'm trying to think now. Thursday. No, it wasn't. 
no, that was brought, but okay. um, yes, no, it wasn't. That's right, I remember now. No, it wasn't one of mine. I do make a lot. Of, well, I haven't this for the last couple of weeks made a lot of cake, but I do yeah. normally. <laughs> don't, don't do it, at least for the next four weeks. For the no. summer, fine, but now, please, no. I'll just do it for the children. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Uh, and there's no cake, Annie. <laughs> And then the last day is last Wednesday, Weetabix for breakfast. Uh, for lunch, it was the uh, herb low fat cheese this time, uh, sandwich yeah. with cucumber. Um, and just on the note there, I've seen that you've got butter on there for the first time. Again, it, exactly the same with what I said earlier. Actually, having a very light bit of butter on everything yeah. is a good thing because, again, it's a naturally occurring fat. And don't be, again, tempted to go for the reduced fat butter. Go for the real block butter. Uh, but obviously, you just need to be really careful you don't have too much. Just a nice, light scraping will make ta everything taste amazing. And then finally, in the evening, you had a, a cod fillet with potato wedges, lots of vegetables. Great. Then in the snack section, an apple, a bit of dairy milk and some mixed nuts. Fabulous, Jane. So again, if you look through all the calories there and do the science, do the maths behind it all, it calculated that you stuck to your calories and you will lose two pounds and you've lost two pounds. Yeah. So fabulous. So, and I'm actually in a, side, a pair of jeans that I couldn't get into. Too oh, much. really? <laughs> You see, that's better than losing four pounds, isn't it? Just being able to get into a different clothes size is amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That they were tight, but now I can wear them and you know not get cut in half. So. <laughs> when you're driving, yes, we've yeah. all had that feeling when you can't wait to get out the car. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, what is your goal for next week? Um. I don't know how much, it could be busy again because I'm back vaccinating and I've got three clinics next week. And although I'm busy, I'm only literally walking to a door and shouting somebody's name. So, but I would like to get my steps up. Yeah. And I'd like to lose another two pounds. Okay, perfect. Mm. Have you got any other questions? No, I think, uh, I think you've answered everything. I'm going to go away and think about some of these things and uh and just gradually cool cream milk yeah just gradually do it as well just next time when you buy things obviously just get the, yeah. the variety you don't need to throw away all the low fat stuff just when you next mm. buy it just start to add it in and you'll notice how you start to enjoy the food more and again you'll start to notice in your hair your skin your nails yeah. all this naturally occurring fat will just help you you'll be able to see and feel a lot healthier I mean, we've eaten low fat yogurt for years um, because I didn't think you should be eating the other. And it's like water and it's yeah. not very nice. Absolutely. So would you go for Greek style or Greek or just ordinary? I go for Greek because I prefer it quite thick. Um, yeah. But whatever you prefer, I try a few different ones out and see what you like, what you prefer. When it comes to yogurt in particular, it's much better to have um natural yogurt and add your own fruit than yeah. buying fruited yogurts purely because yeah. of the sugar content that's all yeah 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 well yes I'll, I'll try that but i would like to get my steps up but it's just fitting it in sometimes so. yeah no don't worry like you said it you'll get them in uh walking to the door of the clinics and stuff won't you i'll have to walk around the surgery <laughs> and, and send them back take the long way <laughs> take the long way around <laughs> And you'll be getting your steps in tomorrow because we're dance fitting tomorrow night, aren't we? We are. We are. Wonderful. And it looks like it's not going to rain. So. I know. Well, it's, it's been raining and sun shining on and off all day. But yeah, the forecast <laughs> looks good for tomorrow. Yeah. Wonderful. Right, Jane, I will see you tomorrow and then we'll see you on video next week. OK. Thank Great. you very much. Thank you Bye. very much, Jane. Bye. Bye.